All right, y'all. This is my Dollar Tree re-up haul. Okay, so I'm just going in to get things that I normally get from the Dollar Tree. Now, this Dollar Tree in particular is on the older side, but sometimes they have a lot of unique things. Um, this one is in Hanover, Maryland. And it looks like they kind of were in the middle of trying to stock. I think they're hiring. So um, it was kind of a, a lot of things in the way when I first came in. So I was looking for some cotton balls and some Q-tips because I never make a list and when I make a list I usually forget it but I came across the hand sanitizers and we go through these a lot. I use them in the car and we like the green one, the aloe one the best and these actually had a pump on it so I like that. And so I found my cotton balls and Q-tips. Somebody, um, some of you guys have some nice Dollar Trees in your neighborhood because somebody had the Clean B products, which is brand name for feminine care. Didn't find those. Of course, I didn't found some snacks. I wasn't supposed to get any snacks, but I like the cheese and breadsticks. Kind of like the handy snacks. Batteries. The perfect place to get batteries, y'all. And they have the uh, button, the flat button cell batteries. And, of course, the AAA and the double, AA batteries. It's good to have those on hand. And at $1.25, you can't beat it. And they seem to last a long time, y'all. So, yeah, reading glasses. I was looking for reading glasses. And I was at the 1.75s. So I'm trying to get the 2.0s now. The 2.00 strength. Um, and I couldn't find any. I couldn't find any that they had some like the plain brown ones and this and that. But I didn't want the plain brown ones or the wire rim ones because they break easily. So I'm still looking for the 2.00. Now these are foldable ones. I didn't know if you guys knew that they had those now, but I had gotten a pair of those and ended up breaking them real fast, y'all. So I done found some more snacks, some Twinkies popcorn, y'all. And I said, let me go ahead and get it. And so I said, let me look at the kitchen stuff, y'all. We needed a new pair of tongs. I wasn't sure at this point what I was actually looking for. But when I saw them, I said, yeah, I'm going to um, grab me some tongs there. And there's nothing really wrong with the ones that we have already. But like I said, you know, getting extra, having it on hand. They had those little butter dishes and that was salad tongs. And look at the coasters, y'all. They were so cute. Together, family, love. Yeah, y'all. Okay, so my main things that I normally get. So these are the foil sheets. Kind of, you know, trying to be like Reynolds Wrap. And I got two of those. They're actually pretty good, but you got to make sure you open them right unless, you know, they won't tear right. Actually, these are already pre-cut, but um, they'll tear when they come out the box if you don't tear them right. I needed some big 
freezer bags. So I put various things in them. Besides food, you know, you can put it all different types of stuff in there. And some trash bags, y'all. We got two of those. They kind of look like they had to stock up a little bit, even though, you know, they had a lot of things. Look at the Minions. Um, the Minions, Spider-Man, tissues, y'all. So, look at the plates. And you can't even find, they only had 10 plates in those, y'all. And yes, I get these plates because I don't feel like washing the dishes a lot, y'all. Look at these flimsy plates right there. You ain't gonna be able to put no food on a flimsy plate like that. So these are pretty sturdy. So I said, let me just get them. And these plastic cups, y'all, you can't beat those plastic cups at the Dollar Tree. They, they're, they're good, y'all. And you get a lot in them. I was looking at the placemats. They have really nice placemats and different items like that for your house, y'all. Look at the paper that you put in between your hamburgers that was pretty neat i was looking for a storage container to put my k-cups from my new keurig the k-cups the sugar and all that but i decided not to get one because i didn't really see one that i liked or i was patient enough to look for one that i liked i got some french fries y'all and this was stuff i was not planning on getting And then, of course, I've seen something else, y'all. Pork pot stickers. Can't sleep on a Dollar Tree food, y'all. Even though some people be making jokes about it, but not me. All right, look at the milk. Look at all the, the you know, they got 1%. They got whole milk. They got 2%. Shelf stable milks and um, like the Fruit Loops, the bread. This bread is really good, y'all. We didn't need any, but this bread is good to make your grilled cheese on there. And they actually have the brand name A One and Heinz Fifty Seven Soft. Look at that cup; it's so cute. All these dishes you can get for your house, y'all, and nothing's wrong with them. So I'm trying to figure out, like, should I get one? I like that mug. I like that one. I'm like, dang, should I? Should I? Or shouldn't I? You know, should I? Or shouldn't I? The Dollar Tree will get you in trouble. I really like that one, too, but I didn't get it, y'all. Look at those Christmas-type Oreos. Look at all these snacks. It would get you in trouble so bad in a Dollar Tree. And the butter cookies and the little tins there. All right, y'all. I'm showing y'all my cart because I thought I was done. But then, of course, you know, I always end up seeing something else, y'all. So I saw these walnuts, these maple flavored walnuts. I like these because they're good for car snacks. They have banana ones too. So I'm trying to say, how much is all this going to be? It's going to be $30? I think it's going to be $30. Did you know Dollar Tree had gift cards? The gift card section. All right, y'all. So I said, let me get out of here. I got to get out of here. I finally made it to the line. I didn't think I was going to make it to the line, y'all. So, yeah, y'all. This thing came up to $28.93. Dollar Tree Rip Haul, y'all. Thanks for watching.